Hello there. I have Chasing Darkness. I think this is a volume of this beer. I feel like it's, this is a series. Um, and this is the one with coconut, pecans, vanilla beans, coffee, and cacao nibs. A lot of stuff. And Darwin's Beer Reviews just um, reviewed this with a perfect 100 score. I've had some other uh, flavored stouts, pastry stouts from Timber Ales. That's the brewery. Um, these are brewed at the 12% project in North Haven, where they just make a whole bunch of really great, um, contract brewed beers that are way better than kind of like the old fashioned contract brewed style where some massive brewery makes massive batches of beer and they are inconsistent or kind of lifeless and macro-y. 12%, um, it's definitely a smaller brewery. Um, so it's 12 percent alcohol also um, and I was very impressed by the first big stout I had from them and for some reason when I've had a chance to buy this I, I passed it up but I'm glad I grabbed this one and it's about time to drink it because this is um, about two and a half months old so I want to taste those flavors so very very dark not quite motor oil but you can tell it's thick look at the Bubbles coming up slowly, almost nitro-like. So, there you go. Maybe it looks better with the orange treehouse logo on there. One thing is it's a little fizzy. If you can hear that on the camera. Um, whenever you have that kind of Coca-Cola type fizz, often that tells you that the feel is gonna be a little fizzy Coca-Cola-like. So that's right off the bat, not a good sign for me. In the old days, all of Treehouse's pastry stouts were, would have really thick, rich head with like several different layers of colors. Um, yeah, so we'll see yeah, what the feel is like on this one. But uh, ever since I bought this a month ago or so, it's been in my fridge. <sighs> but yep, that smells like lots of tasty, nutty, chocolatey coffee things. Definitely get the coconut, and I'm a big coconut fan. <sighs> Pecans, maybe. It just smells like um, derby pie a little bit. That's like, I think that's pecans and bourbon and like brown sugar and vanilla pie. It's chocolate too, but this one, this one also then has um, coffee and coconut in it. And even though I have a little cold, I can still smell pretty well. Don't I tested negative, so I feel like I can do this review. Um, and it's not a waste of this beer. But I'm mostly just straight up Mounds Bar. And there's nothing scary. It's not even that boozy. It's, there's no soy saucy, green peppery, weird, any, any, anything like that that can happen with big stouts. Yeah, the closest to beer to this that I had recently was coconut PM Dawn from Trillium, but that one after a few months started getting this um, green peppery note that you get from some, a lot of coffee stouts that if you, they start going uh, a little off after a while, but this doesn't have that. And I took the can out of the fridge for a little bit, so it's not ice cold. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's some heat in there. And some sweet. Mm -hmm. But all the flavors really come through, but wow, that's, whew, that's that is potent. <clears throat> With the coffee too, it's like a, because the hot coffee is it's very roasty and bitter. Like a cow nibs, I think, are bringing in some some bitter dark flavors too, but wow. One sip of that is enough to really get some flavor. thick um very very good but yeah the, the fizzy feel that's the only problem i would say i feel like when i had one of their other pastry stouts like a year or so ago i had a little bit better feel as you can see the head just died down I and mean, it's not headless it's still got some in there it's not flat it's got carbonation happening but it just has a fizzy feel it's not silky like the best treehouse stouts are and, and 
other brewery stouts that I've had, but just have that, that perfectly silky mouthfeel. That's, that's what I'm out looking for um, in lots of beers. It's, the mouthfeel is really super important to me in a way that I, th I think it isn't to a lot of people, but it makes the experience much more pleasant. I don't want beer to be like I'm drinking thick, sweet flavored Coca-Cola um, with some booze added in it. Wow. There's some, when you exhale, it's heat through your nose. I think I'm getting a cavity over here. Maybe I shouldn't have had this beer today. Um, definitely sweet, sticky on the, on the lips. It's really good, but I wouldn't rate this 100. But it's, it's really just the, um, it's the, the, the mouthfeel carbonation, that fizziness that's, that's, that's off for me. Um, but that's the only thing. Everything else is really nice. I get all the flavors. And then vanilla beans I didn't even mention, but that always makes it have a sort of s'mores toasted marshmallow type note um, in these stouts that I really like. Maybe if I lose some of the carbonation, the feel will get a little bit more silky. But I think, yeah, some pastry stouts can be really classy beers. Um, most smoothie sours I don't think can be classy beers. If they're a mixed fermentation thing like Night Shift's Vice series, those are classy. But graham cracker, lactose, vanilla, half fruit puree sours, those are for the kids. But these can be done really well. I, I have respect for these, some of these pastry stouts. Yeah, it's just still too big bubbly. Um, but wow, it's deep and dark and intense, and just really flavorful. It has a little bit of a dark fruit thing, kind of like fancy fruity coffee. Um, but I should end this review. It, it's, this is a four and a half for me, I would say. But if that mouthfeel was there, it could be it could be close to a five.